Let's look at three awesome free animation softwares and discuss their major strengths and weaknesses to determine which one is the best. I recommend you use all three of these softwares because they're free. But the one decided as the best animation software is the one that is worth your time and effort to learn it now and in the future. All three of these free animation softwares have modern animation features such as automatic in-betweens, keyframes, camera movement, effects, and so on. Be sure to leave me a like and let's get started. Push you all to sleep with a lullaby feature. He likes on the beat, this is what they gon' teach ya. Don't you wanna rest on the midnight locks? Then take a little test for a recommendation. How do I customize? I'm a side sleeper. Match me the right one for the most dreaming. Don't you wanna rest on the midnight locks with the moonlight coming through the window screen? Yeah. Open up the box. Midnight. Set it on the frame. Midnight. Let it inflate. Free shipping, make it deliver easy Shut up in my mailbox quicker than I need it Don't you wanna rest on the midnight lux And the order doesn't gotta be complicated Midnight Customize your helix, get your Midnight Customize your helix for the Midnight Comfort you can feel is on a offers a 100 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, and flexible financing and payment plans. Don't miss their Black Friday sale to get 27% off your mattress purchase, plus two free pillows and a free bedding bundle with Lux or Elite orders. Use code HELIXPARTNER27 to take advantage of this special offer. The first software we're gonna talk about is OpenTunes. OpenTunes is a 2D animation software I made my very first short film using this software. It took me about five years. Its traditional animation tools are pretty sweet. You can connect a scanner to OpenTunes or a camera. It's basically like a stop motion animation software, whereas you can take pictures of your drawings, import them, grab that Tunes raster brush and start cleaning them up. Along with the scanning tools, the timing controls in OpenTunes are what keeps me coming back to this software. You can reframe your drawings. You can randomize the order of your frames. It's easy Easy to copy and offset groups of drawings so you can create easy follow through. I have a whole tutorial on that right here. OpenTunes also has a very simple but very powerful effects and compositing engine. You can add Gaussian blurs, lights, highlight effects, particle emission. There is tons of stuff here. It's also quite easy to use. Lastly, one of OpenTunes' strengths is strangely audio support. Not only can you view waveforms on the X-Sheet timeline, but you can also even record audio right in OpenTunes from your microphone. I mean, kind of irrelevant, but really cool. So what are some of OpenTunes' weaknesses? Well, firstly, it's gonna be stability and compatibility. This software is infamous for crashing. To this day, I still have not installed OpenTunes on a computer where it did not crash at some point. The other two softwares in this list have never had those problems. I worked for five years on this film called Chronicle of Pi Episode 1, only using OpenTunes and its related forks and family. And did it crash? Oh yes, it did. But is it usable? Absolutely. Go download it right now with the link below. Now, the last weakness of OpenTunes is the brushes. Now, depending on your art style, that you may not worry about this at all. To get the best out of OpenTunes, you gotta use the default Tunes raster brush so it can work with all the different effects. But for other more expressive artistic styles, whether it be sketchy or painterly, this is really not a program that's going to be the best for those styles. While OpenTunes does have other brushes, they're imported from MyPaint, they're, they're basic and they don't mesh as well with the effects engine. So for those of you making Y2K vintage style animation, you couldn't ask for a better software. Well, that is unless you wanted a more stable software like Krita. Krita is a digital painting and illustration software that has some pretty good animation features. The number one strength of Krita is the brush engine. This is a painting software. This allows you to get very uh, expressive. If you lean towards more of the painterly or sketchy rough animation style, this is a program for you. I was decently surprised by Krita's animation features. Some highlights are the new storyboard docker added in Krita 5.0. This allows you to create 
basic storyboards within Krita and even export them to a PDF with comments and everything. I think you should get Krita just because of this feature alone. It's pretty sweet. You can make storyboards and um, send them over to a company to pitch your animation idea to them. Krita also has uh, keyframe tools using the animation curves docker and using the transform masks you can also have camera movement within this software as well. Krita is very very stable. I can only remember it crashing once so if you want the peace of mind of knowing that your work is going to be erased, Krita might be the one for you. But let's hear about some of its weaknesses. The main reason I don't use Krita all the time is because it's timing controls. It's just kind of basic. OpenTunes definitely has the leg up here. Also, animation playback is kind of slow. I expected it to be a little bit snappier considering the general performance of this program. It seems that when flipping between frames, Krita has to catch up to show you the accurate updated view of your work. And that's, it doesn't look that great, to be honest. It doesn't necessarily impede my workflow, but it's a bit unpleasant. Another weakness Krita has, unlike OpenTunes, is that most of Krita's uh, special effects are manual. So if you put blur on something, you get to the next layer, you gotta blur it again. There's not a continual, a key frameable blur effect like OpenTunes has. Also, the last weakness of Krita is that audio integration is very limited. So you can't view the waveform and you can pretty much just click to add audio and where is the audio? It doesn't show you, but you can hear it. It still needs some work. I use Krita all the time for animation and illustration. This is an awesome free program. Go download it with the link in the description below. And lastly, we have Blender. Do OpenTunes and Krita even stand a chance? Blender's main strength is its built-in physics engine, including a particle system, rigid and soft body simulations that you can use for your 2D animation reference. That's beyond. Blender is also a video editor, game engine, compositing, rendering, texturing, everything. How is Blender a free program? It kind of seems more like traditional animation, because you draw your 2D animations on a flat plane like a piece of paper, and using a multi-plane camera like they used to, you can set props in front or behind it to create a parallax effect and other sort of special effects. I created this animation in Blender for a sponsorship a while ago, mixing grease pencil along with 3D elements, and it was a ton of fun. It's like being able to take a 3D pen in real life and draw over the objects around you. This is by far the most innovative and feature-packed animation software in this entire video. So what about weaknesses? Blender's grease pencil is vector-based. You can use raster textures. In some places, you really can notice that these are vector brushes. You could just use Blender as your simulation software and use OpenTunes or Krita as your animation software. Why not? They're all free. So we talked about three amazing free animation softwares, but the best animation software that's worth your time is definitely Blender 3D. Blender is a true animation software. Whether 2D or 3D is up to you. I highly recommend getting familiar with this program for the future of your animation career. I can't believe Blender won. I mean, it would take a program with some seriously good brushes to beat Blender as an animation software.